You said how you want it. You said how you need it. Don't want to believe it. Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog of that Indian guy from downtown Houston. Right now I'm on my way to Toyota Center for the Toyota Center public tours which happen every Tuesdays and Thursdays and it was on a recommended list of things to do when you're visiting Houston. If you do not know Toyota Center is the home stadium for Houston Rockets which is their NBA team. No matter how much I want to show you guys around Toyota Center, unfortunately they have a strict no recording policy so I won't be able to record once I go inside the Toyota Center but I'll at least try to give you guys a look of outside the stadium as to how does it feel like oh here it is here's the Toyota Center but this is not the main entrance of the stadium it's it's on the other side of the street so let me walk there and show you guys around and till then let me talk to you about one more thing that is spring break and breaks in general so US universities have a lot of breaks in between first of all our universities are closed on Saturdays and Sundays there's no lecture nothing going happening on on Saturdays and Sundays but also apart from that Every semester there are breaks like Martin Luther King Day, which are like one day breaks. But apart from that, during the spring there is the spring break. Then there is a break between the summer and the spring semester. Again a break between the summer and the fall semester. Fall has something called winter break. In every semester you at least get like one week or ten days of proper holidays. And as we are talking, here is the Toyota Center entrance. Let's check it out and I hope I'm not late for the tour. Now all I got to do is figure out where the main entrance is. And also I'll give you a small comparison as to how does this place look in compared to American Airlines Center. If you haven't watched that vlog yet, go ahead and check it out on my channel. It's called my first ever NBA game. In that vlog, I've tried to show you guys around the AAC, the American Airlines Center, which is the home stadium for Dallas Mavericks. For all the new viewers, Dallas is a city I live in. I'm just visiting Houston for a week. So as I said before, I won't be able to record inside the Toyota Center, but I can obviously take Snapchat. So if you guys aren't following me yet, go ahead and add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat handle is that Indian guy 18 Follow me there for some insider pics of the Toyota Center. Time to head inside now. So it turns out that the Toyota Center tour for today is canceled for some reason really disappointing but I'm gonna try again to come back on Thursday 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. and try to get the tour of the center I was really excited to check out the court in person like standing at the floor of the stadium that was gonna be a really exciting moment but unfortunately it's not gonna to happen today anyways new plan is that I'm heading towards a park which is one block from here they are offering some kayaking in the lake over there because it's spring break right now so let's go ahead and check it out and also about yesterday first of all there is so much work going on around here in Houston and this construction. I don't know if you guys can even hear me or not. Anyways, talking about yesterday, yesterday I went to the Johnson Space Center here in Houston, which is one of the most popular destinations here in the city. I mean, people go specially to Houston to visit the Space Center. It was an amazing tour. I'm really sorry I did not vlog yesterday because I was so engrossed in visiting the Space Center that I did not get much time to vlog. Apart from that, I also visited the Chase Tower Observation Deck, which is on the 60th floor, has the best views of Houston City. So if you guys are wondering how do I know more about these things, you guys should follow me on Snapchat because I was snapping throughout the day and I uploaded so many pictures and videos of the whole experience. Once again, if you haven't added me on Snapchat yet, go ahead and do it. It's that Indian guy 80. You can keep following me around the city over there. And at night time, it gets awkward for me to vlog outside, but snapping is like pretty exception everywhere around here. Look at the number of people here in this park. It finally feels like I'm somewhere. You take it or leave it. You Overwhelming. There are way too many number of people in the park, especially a Texas park. This was the first time I was visiting a proper public park on a busy day in Texas. And it has been two months since I have been here, so it was surprising. And look at this, there are people kayaking in this lake around here. It's so much fun. It looks really interesting. Look at the amount of construction going on around here. I mean, I was supposed to go on the street on the other side of this building but now I have to go all the way through around here because there is no place to walk anyways right now I'm heading to a Vietnamese restaurant over here so I can go grab some lunch I'm really really hungry right now and I'm excited to try this restaurant which one of my friends who stays in Houston has recommended to me don't get me wrong 
the lunch was $15, but it was definitely worth it. And after the tip, it turns out to be $18 for this lunch. It was a super expensive one, but this was by far one of the best lunch I had in Houston. Just got out of the train now and look around. Downtown Houston looks so amazing around here. Anyways, right now I'm heading towards the bus stop so that I can go and catch a bus and go to Galleria in Houston. So I've already visited the Galleria in Dallas and it was amazing but people tell me that the Galleria in Houston is way way more amazing than that. So I'm really excited to visit Galleria. Look at the entrance of this building. Crazy places here in downtown Houston. Just got done editing this vlog. It's already six minutes long. And my current plan right now is to head back home because I'm really tired now. Anyway, so I'm thinking I'm going to call it a day and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog.